Hello YouTube, Psycho Fox here. Just doing a quick video showing you um, a little mod I did recently regarding my Commodore 64. It was a little bit of a, a sort of a, a quandary, a sort of a dilemma I had. Uh, because I run this now using an SD2 IEC uh, SD card interface. I've actually got no cassette games for the Commodore 64. Uh, but I used to have cassette games, and I had the um, the uh, data set there, the old cassette cassette interface there. But it's obviously surplus to requirements. Uh, but the trouble is, it's just visually, just to look at it, it's a really nostalgic thing for me. Uh, my dad had one of these back at his uh, back at his work. He was um, a lecturer back in the 1980s, and this was in the classroom and. One of these was in the classroom, an old bread bin model like this, and he had one of the cassette cassette uh, interfaces there. So just looking at it, it's just just nostalgic for me. So I thought, well, I don't really want to sell it. It's not worth anything. I don't really need it. It's taking up space. So uh, what I wound up doing is opening it up, and you can see there the uh, SD2 IEC interface is actually in the little cassette tray there. So if I want to change the uh, SD card or press the buttons, just pop the eject. So I've kept the mechanism, all the tape loading mechanism, all the motor is all attached to them, to the counter, to the LED. So it all comes out as one. So I've just taken that out, taken the spindles off for the little tape spindles, uh, taken all the wiring out, because obviously the wiring used to come out there to the uh, to the cassette port there, so I've uh, I've managed to keep the little rubber little stopper in there that the original wire went through. I just cut that and I put it around the new wire, and that just that's the SD two IEC wires there going to the back. So it's just long enough to sit alongside the C sixty four, which is good. That needs uh, just yeah fixing to the back a little bit. Nobody um. It's obviously just a shell. It's not. It's not serving any purpose, apart from aesthetics. And if anything, it's probably a bit dangerous that it's a lot of weight now and it could drag these wires out. But uh, it's um, it's just finding a use for something that I find aesthetically pleasing, really. And it it was functioning. It's not in great condition. It's got a crack in there. It wasn't worth a great great deal of money. It was functional, but I've wrecked it. I've gutted it. I've taken all the taken all the gubbins out and converted it into a little little house for my SD card interface there. So it's uh at first glance it looks original. But it's not. It's uh it's got the glories of SD cards housed inside it. So I just thought I'd show you that a quick and quick and simple little mod I did the other day when I was bored. So thanks for watching.